Hi everybody, it's me Tess with Tess Loves Yarn and you guys, uh, today I'm going to show you what I've been working on while I've been in the hospital and I've been working on the Mama Marin chicken which I had a whole lot more done on this chicken it was like the body was almost done but it was looking funky on the wings like the wings weren't matched up on either side. So I ripped it all back out to here, to the neck. I frogged it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and continue working this, but make sure I count my rows. And I really highly recommend you guys count your rows or um, get a simple row keeper. I bought a abacus off of Amazon for like five dollars and every time I do a row I just pull a bead over it's got these like wooden beads or pet um wooden things <laughs> I don't know what they're called but <clears throat> all you do is like slide one across for every row that you complete and that helps you keep track of your rows and you can also use stitch counters as well to keep track of your stitches through here. But if you don't wanna use a stitch counter for that, just at the end of every row, go back and count your stitches. And when I say count your stitches, that's every little V. I know this is white and you probably can't see it too well, but when you make a stitch, the, the bottom of the stitch or the top of the stitch actually looks like this V shape and you just count your V's all the way around until you come back to your beginning. So I highly recommend you do that. Obviously I did not and now I'm paying for it because this chicken was almost done and when I turned it over to look at it I realized it wasn't it wasn't balanced. It, I didn't have a wing like right here and then on the opposite side instead of having the wing right here it was like back here which looked very weird because we all know chickens don't have a wing in the front and the wing in the back, right? They have wings on the side. So that's why I had to uh, frog it out. But I think the head with the fit little face and whatever this is called. I'm not sure what this is called on a chicken. I'm trying to think, is it the crest or I don't know what it is, but this, it turned out really well. You know, here's like a more of a sideway, sideways picture. You could see the nose right here, the beak. The beak looks great. This looks great got the eyes on I think that looks great so yeah basically I'm just having to redo the body as you can see my yarn I when I frogged it I wound all the yarn just around my big ball of blanket yarn <laughs> so I've been doing that and then after I frogged this out I was kind of mad at myself for not counting my stitches in my rows so I kind of stopped working on it for a little bit and I started working on this with, with the Bernat baby blanket in this color because I'm going to be making some turtles and this is going to be the body color of the turtles. Um, the, the belly, not the shell, but the belly, the legs, and the head and then this will be the shell, which I think matches beautifully with this teal. If you guys can see how that matches, that matches beautifully. So I'm really loving this. Um, by the way, the chicken pattern is um, Mama Marin is the name of the pattern for the chicken, chicken pattern. And it's by Crafts Go Bloom. And she has a YouTube channel as well, you guys. So if you want to go check her out, she's she's really amazing. I really like her a lot. Um, let me see. 
what else I brought. So this, I just started on this, but it is going to be the turtles. And the turtle pattern I'm going to be using is Crochet by Jenna. And she also has a YouTube channel. And here's her turtle pattern right here, which is very easy to follow. Very easy to follow. I, I love this pattern. Um, I actually have a couple of her patterns because they're so good. She really writes a, a good pattern. It's well written and easy to follow. And let's see, I've got one more thing. Oh, this is actually, because I couldn't find the, the white in Bernat Blanket. Like, I really prefer Bernat Blanket for my plushies, but I did get this from Michaels. And it's the Michaels, um, I think it's called Chanel Slim. Um, I'm trying to see if I have my yarn bands down here. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, so it's Chanel Home Slim. And it's a six super bulky weight yarn. And it calls for an eight millimeter hook. Now, I'm using a 6.5 hook to uh, eliminate holes. Like when your hook is too big, you're going to have holes in your amigurumi and you're going to see the stuffing underneath. So you really need to go down a size or two on your hook so that those holes don't show. So yeah, this one is called, it's just called a uh, white. So that's this one I'm using. And then like I said, this teal color is in Bernat Blanket. And that one, it's Bernat Baby Blanket. It is super soft, you guys. Bernat has recently changed their formula for their blanket yarn. And it is incredibly soft now. It's like, I just want to lay on this. You know what I mean? It's so soft. I just want to fill up you know, like a big sheet and lay on top of it. It's so soft. But um, this one is 220 yards. It calls for an eight mil hook. And once again, I'm using a 6.5 mil. And uh, what I love about Bernat Baby Blanket is it's tested for harmful, harmful substances. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you guys. But um, yeah, it's tested for all these harmful things. And so you can use this with your baby and not worry that, you know, that there's something in there that might harm them. But um, this has 220 yards in it. It's a 300 gram ball. And I love it, love it. This one, I forgot to tell you the yardage on this. This is 218 yards. 218 yards and the, and they're both polyester so with the Michael's yarn you get two less yards but the Michael's yarn is only ten dollars a ball where the Bernat yarn is I want to say 13 a ball so for a three dollar difference it's two yards so yeah so that's all that I have for you guys um, I've been in the hospital since Monday, and so that's why I brought these uh, patterns with me and my yarn bag with me so that I could make sure I had some things to work on. Here's my little, here's my little chicken. Can't wait to get this one done and stuffed. And then I want to show you real quick what else I brought. I have this little bitty case of amigurumi eyes and they're glitter eyes. So you put the little glitter patches under the eye and then put the um, plastic snap on to hold the eye in. But here are my eyes. And then I have this little tin right here. And in this little tin, I have darning needles. I have stitch markers in this little container and I have a pair of itty bitty scissors. And these things are super sharp, but that's all I carry in here. It's just a little carry thing. I don't have a tape measure in here, but 
Actually, I'm going to put one in because it, it would fit. So yeah, this is, and look how convenient that is. I can just slip it in my pocket. Oh, hello. Hi there. So Hi. gotta go, but yeah. as always, be kind and be safe out there in the world, no matter where you are. Bye everybody.